Hello and welcome to an episode, another episode here in Cherry Hills. Um, we have basically been doing a bunch of stuff off camera. Um, we have um, got Field 10 that we bought last time um, kind of ploughed, um, fertilised um, and ready to sort of seed. Field 3 um, is also um, ready for seeding along with field one. Field six is growing nicely. Um, it's like going to be a grass field. And we basically um, mowed that last time and we collected all the grass. And we also started that BJ up in that corner running. One little task, I'm just going to do that now. Um, I just noticed this is actually still in the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this away, actually. So here is our home cultivator beastie. Um, what I'm actually thinking of doing is buying another one of these. Um, I normally have two of these um, because it does get used an awful lot. I mean, if you look at the, the number of hours this has been used, this has been used for uh, for 12.9 hours on this um, on this on this farm so far because we use it pretty much every time we prepare a field um, and you know these fields are big so they're going to take a long time to do so we definitely need to get another one of these so we're going to do a few th little things around the farm one of which is buy some equipment um, one of which would be buying one of these uh, homers. Um, I do actually like this piece of kit. I um, I actually find it incredibly useful. Um, it just does the job, and it does it really well. So it's def it's a it's a it's a definite must, um, and it's also really manoeuvrable. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of equipment all stacked up. This is some of it left over from our little purchase earlier. I'm just going to park him here for the moment. Um, and actually, one of these is for one of the little jobs that needs doing. So I need to... Sorry, I was trying to get into a container there. Um, what I need to do is get this guy and load him up and what I need to do with this is this needs to go to the BGA we currently have whoops um, I've been running for a little while now and we need to unload the diesel. Um, it is actually the last item to be done. Um, but what we actually need to do here is we need to take this guy down there, but we also need to take the other guy too. Um, so what I'm just going to do is get out of here. Uh, composter is literally... Um, full. This guy I'm just going to empty out because, as I say, I, I want to take him, both of these guys, to the the small BGA, and both these guys are going to unload the diesel from that BGA, um, ready for um, use. So I'm actually going to. Um, basically take all this diesel and I'm going to put him on follow and I'm going to take this guy and drive him so oops, reverse luckily follow me doesn't do reversing so what we're going to do is the other BGA has basically been um, kind of got up and running. 
So what we did in the last video is we were mowing the field that we bought, field six, right next to that BGA. We finished that mowing um, off camera and we actually collected all the grass. And once we got all of the grass um, pulled in, we actually dropped a little bit into the composter there. And then we dropped um, a little bit into the digester there. And we got some digestate out, and that's gone into the digestate splitter. Um, it'll be a while before that is actually fully um, operational. And on that field, we actually managed to get about 400,000 litres, or just a little bit over 400,000 litres of um, grass off that field. We put uh, 200,000 litres into the uh, composter, we put another 50,000 litres into the digester and then we put the remainder um, into one of the silage bays and that actually is fermenting, it might even be finished and we will be checking on that um, once we've just kind of got the setup to process uh, and pull out the diesel. Basically we will be um, kind of running some silage up there so this is actually because um, I don't normally do this I don't normally do silage in a silage clamp I typically get a ferment a fermenter and place it if there is not one on the map or if there's one on the map I use it so typically on Stevie's maps um, he places a place a places a fermenter and I've basically been using that uh, whenever I need silage. Um, oops, I'm kind of stuck. Um, so basically, I pretty much use that every time. Now, this is the first time that I've ever actually done the silage. So, interestingly, I don't think I can do two at once. Hmm. Oh. I have no idea where that's going. Okay, that's not actually what I wanted it to do. Now let's move that away so it's not filling me. Okay, that's not quite what I, how I wanted this to work. Um, okay, so that's, I've just left that there. That's got emptied out. Um, that's got emptied out. Um, we're going to probably pull out more um, diesel than we actually want because this has tripped it and it's decided to start processing. Um, Okay, so what we're just going to do is we're going to pop up to this BGA. This is the trailer we left here earlier. This guy is running. And as you can see, we have some silage. Um, it's all covered up in this thing. Obviously, we didn't manage to fill this entire thing, but this is fermenting. It's 37%. It's all covered. And we've got, I can't remember exactly the amount we have in here, but we do have quite a lot. Um, so that will be going in there into the digest uh, from here as soon as it's ready. Now, we're going to have to either buy a front loader, a uh, wheel loader, sorry, um, or we're going to get... Um, something I've got um, for manure for the pigs um, which I also need to get one for the cows but I don't necessarily need that because I used I'm gonna use the uh, cows manure for um, for the fields so hold on where was I looking I want miscellaneous why can't I see miscellaneous 
Ah. This guy. Uh, this thing basically sucks up stuff off the ground and basically shoots it out the spout. Um, it's going to be perfect um, for loading stuff into a trailer. We also bought um, this guy with a um, leveler to level the um, side, well, the chaff effectively in the silage to make the silage. So we can also put the silage in the composter. So we've got a couple of uses for that, and um, obviously we've got this guy running. So what do we need to do next? So let's just pop back here and see the status of this. This guy's still filling, I think. Yep, it's still filling. What we're going to do is we're actually going to take some of this up to the first BTA. Um, what we're probably going to do is take uh, this guy up to the first BTA. Um, the reason why I'm going to take this guy up to the first BTA is um, because this guy, um, well, it doesn't really matter which one I take, to be honest, but essentially this guy is going to go up. Um, we need to check the digestate level here. We've got 11%. So um, one of the things I'm going to do is because we can feed from here. We have got quite a bit of um, fertilizer in here. We can basically use that in this BGA. So I'm going to feed that into the BGA as well. So we're just kind of getting the BGAs kind of ticking over again. Kind of, they've been off for a bit. Um, we dumped a whole bunch more uh, grain onto high gain, um, more spelt, um, and made us a bit more money. Um, whilst we're off camera as well. Um, literally a ton of money. Um, I could buy another field, but I'm not. Right, the thing we need to do next, actually, um, and I need to go up here. So, um, this guy's gonna get used for potatoes and we need to plant those potatoes and somewhere I have a cedar to do that. Um, I'm just going to remember where I put it. Uh, so basically, I need this guy. This guy's going to be sorry, we, sugar beet. We're not doing potatoes, we're doing sugar beet. This guy's got the sugar beet. So this guy's going to do field one. It's a shame because um, this is the big cedar, and I want to use the big cedar on the big fields, but unfortunately, the smaller field is the best field for. Um, sugar beet because quite frankly, I don't want to be harvesting sugar beet for the rest of my life um, So we are literally going to take this down to field one and set this guy off um, And hopefully he will basically finish in a timely manner um, Basically we need to do a headland um, on this um, So we'll manually do a headland on the bottom of the field um, I think we'll do two headlands on this. Um, yeah, I think we do two on this one because this is a wide cedar and we need a bit of space. Um, so I'm going to set that up. So let me sneak into this gap here. Um, I need GPS mod for this. Um, we need to... Um, let's see how does that so let's unfold the cedar make sure gps mod is properly calibrated for that and let's kind of really think he's actually going to be doing it here i kind of think it's there we want to be doing it so we've got sugar beet selected. 
And let's just turn on and line up. Okay, turn on the sour, power the sour, and go. So we're going to do the headland on here. Hopefully it will actually not mess up. So there's this patch, which for some reason would not um, kind of couldn't do anything with the um, with the uh, the cultivator. It's it's like it just wouldn't um, touch it, and it's done the same. That's kind of weird. That's odd. That's odd. I'm pretty sure this is a direct cedar, but um, that seemed to, didn't seem to want to do anything. We're going to make a turn. Yeah. So we'll do two headlands. Give us plenty of space to turn. I'm really puzzled about this little section. I'm not sure why um, we can't plant it. The weirdest thing here is it's a little, uh, there is kind of an odd shape to the field, but I, I just really don't understand why we can't you can't seed it um, because we've got a actual section of it that is actually seeded. Um, that's the weirdest bit. <laughs> um, Not to do with speed. Almost like it's like a little dead section. Um, not sure why. Really not sure why. Um, we are going to stop at this point. I'm going to draw a little bit further forward. Ah, interesting. Um, puzzling, but interesting. Okay, so let's lift the seed up. And let's reset ourselves. Okay, this is not right because that should not. That's weird. That is terribly strange. Crop destruction um, thing kicked in there on that corner, and that is should not have done that. Um, I'm not sure why it's done that. Um, we're going to have to babysit this for the initial piece. Um, with the helper, I think.
Hopefully, um, this hopefully this will keep going straight and past the end because of this this non-straight element of this part of the field. Um, effectively, what we end up with is on some cedars are not wide enough to carry on going. Hopefully, this will be wide enough and we'll basically just go past and up the side. Um, yes he's gonna go and do what i hoped he would do so basically he'll turn at the top here and come down and we should be good um we'll keep an eye on this guy um throughout the course of things first time on this field with this cedar um so we just need to keep a close watch on what he's doing um make sure that he's not gonna mess up in any way and hopefully I'll do the turn. We should have a, enough headland on the bottom. Do this. And he goes back. We'll watch this guy do the bottom as well, just to make sure he turns okay. Should have enough space to turn uh, with that t double headland and essentially a little bit of the grass verge. So we're just watching this guy. And then what we'll do next is we will set off a cedar on field three. Um, now, question is, do we stick to the, the Pronto nines that we have? I think we'll use a Pronto 9. Um, I was considering replacing all the Pronto 9s with one of these, um, but I think we will use the, uh, we'll use a Pronto. Actually, no, we will get another one of these and we will replace one of our Pronto 9s with one of these. So we'll still have three seeders, but we'll basically replace it with one of these. Um, and we'll put uh, one of the Pronto 9s just on ice until later. We might use it on a different field, something that's a little bit smaller. Um, I don't really want to be taking, you know, four weeks to plant some of these fields um, effectively. And they do take a long time. So let's just watch this guy complete the bottom part. It's not going to damage the crop because the helpers don't, which is good. Um, but unfortunately this kind of initial piece we damaged it but we'll fix that um, maybe later uh, so he's going to go and turn was perfect okay so that's that right there is a cedar here this one um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy back to the farm. So this is the cedar we were using on this field before. We need soybeans. It's one of the things that I meant to plant last time out, when I last harvested, and kind of forgot. So, I actually accidentally left... Um, it's this particular cedar set to barley so what I'm going to do is whilst I remember um, select seed soybean we need a good crop of soybeans so what I'm going to do is our brand new field field 10 is going to be soybeans and I'm going to actually use this guy to do it um, so we're going to head to field 10 and we're going to start seeding that field. Um, that will take a while, but that's good. This is fine. Off camera, we did a couple of a little chores. So we injected a couple of new things into the server, some mods. Um, so one of the things that I haven't actually kind of actually done anything with it yet, as I need to figure out what it is, is there is a mod called Farm farm tablet or farming tablet and I basically injected that um, this is field 10 
I don't know why I was going to the entrance. I want to be in this corner. Um, I could have literally just turn there. Um, so basically, there's a, I say there's a mod called uh, farming tablet or farm tablet, and it's a status kind of mod. Um, and I'm just going to use this guy to um, kind of give me bearings or positioning because one of the things is this is a new field I don't quite know I haven't quite kind of got the widths of the equipment with the field yet so yeah I need to kind of once you do this a couple of times you kind of figure out the sweet spot for the positioning of the tractor for the um, for the, uh, the kind of run down so for instance here should be and I will basically kind of just set myself up in the middle yeah that'll do I'm just going to back up a little bit I want to be on the field when I start so he's going to go and soybeans are away, as it were. Um, so this field's been fertilized once. It will be fertilized a second time with this. So we won't have a full 100% yield um, boost, but that's fine. This is our first harvest on this field as well. So it's kind of okay. So there we have that guy running and we have this guy running. Um, and basically we have one other cedar, this guy, actually hold on, we have two other cedars, okay, we have three of, oh, hold on, what's this one? Ah, actually this is actually perfect, I think this is a cedar we're effectively replaced with the, uh, with the, um, the, the wide one so actually what I'm going to do let me just see what this thing is that's corn yes so um, I can't remember if there's a sale point on this farm um, if there is I'll sell this back actually um, I will ret essentially return this to the um, sale in fact I think that's it. That is the kind of customization, which um, kind of drop off place for that. Let me just uh, let's just deal with this. I'm going to sell that guy because we don't actually we. With the the new wider one, um, we won't need that. So actually, we had four miles, and we had one that wasn't really going to get used. Sorry, sowers. And so let's buy the new one. Great thing is we we got one hundred and six thousand back for that, um, and we essentially. Uh, Means that this has only cost us sixty-eight thousand, so that is that. Okay, so this should be in the um, thing. Now, one of the things I wanted to try, and I might just see if this works. So we have our seed master, and we have a bunch of seeds in the seed master because, well, we. Um, we just processed a whole ton of seed. Um, I'm trying to do it. No. Just not quite far enough. Right, let's see. I, I can't remember if you can fill 
the back of one of these from Seedmaster. I don't think I've ever actually tried. Um, we have to open the cedar. Oh, this cedar doesn't open. Um. Hmm. Okay, so we don't. Okay, we're going to have to fill this. I actually don't know how you fill this. Without the thingy, um, we're gonna have to go up here and pay for seed, um, which is kind of annoying because I wanted to just use the seed that we've made. Um, that is liquid fertilizer. We still need fertilizer in here as well. Um, and I, f I can't open the fertilizer. I can't open it, then I can't. Um. That is mighty odd. So let's just have a look at the sailboard. Um, so at the moment, so far it's got a decent price. So is canola. Uh, we haven't actually ever done a harvest of one of those yet on here. The other thing that has a decent price, so that's tried. I can't remember which one that is. That's sorghum or millet. Um, we have a got a stupid sale price on the high grain at the moment um, I don't think I'm going to go spelt again um, if we go um, if we go sunflowers, we need to use a sunflower head, and that will take a little bit longer because it's not as big. It'll take a longer time to harvest. If we do, however, we could use sunflowers. Actually, I'm going to go with. Um, actually, I'm going to go with canola. So I'm going to go with canola. Um, it's an interesting crop and I can use it with the pigs so so that's fine this sour doesn't open up which makes it interesting how do we actually see a uh, fill it um, all I need to do is actually part up some of the seed Build seed pallets. I wonder if we can do that. Hmm, okay. So we've got three of our planting fields. Um, and we have three planting fields now and two grass fields. We have three planting fields um, being sown, as it were. That's the task for the day, is it? Kind of, we want to get this done. Whoa. Um, so this game day, um, we want to get everything sown. Um, I'm not paying attention to the season. Um, as you can see, it's winter and we're sowing. Um, theoretically, nothing should grow. We're not using the seasons mod. Um, we're using the seasons display mod. I'm just doing that for a bit of color almost um i don't really want to use seasons mod because um because of the way 
we play, um, it will kind of mess up gameplay a little bit, I think, on the server. Um, right, so let's unfold fold this guy. Let's check with GPS mod the width. Uh, that'll do. That's fine. Uh, we have a new version of VI, um, AI vehicle extension. Now, I'm not going to use this um, on this field. Um, I believe um, I've been looking at Stevie's um, Facebook page. He uses this and has been find, having great success with it on this map. However, I'm not... I've not had so much great success with it, to be honest, on the map. Um, okay, so let's go. This guy's gone. Actually, I don't think this is a direct cedar. We actually have to make sure we cultivate with this guy. Um, Okay, so this is underway. We've got two uh, two guys seeding away nicely. Um, we have oh, actually, that's what I wanted to do. Um, we've just basically the need to unload this guy. This guy's full. We should be full. Yep, he's full. We have a weird thing going on with the. Um, I've had this before. Um, the um, there's a weirdness with the loading pipe. Okay, this guy will be quick to fill. Uh, okay, so let's just get this guy out. And we need we need thirty k to have a um, compost master fully operational. And this guy's going to go back to the farm. So let's take him back. Let's see how long this pipe stretches. Um, by the way, I have a feeling this pipe will technically stretch all the way back to the farm. If it does, that will be kind of weird. As you can see, it is literally... Uh, yeah, that's just... Um, there's a slight broken graphical glitch here. There's a pipe that's basically extending across the map back to the um, refinery um, separator thing. Um, when we unload it will probably disappear, but that was that's kind of s strange and spooky and all that good stuff. So with that, we've, we've done a few chores, um, got a few things kicked off and we've had a catch up. Um, with that, I think we'll close this episode out. I'm trying to keep time to 30 minutes. We don't want to really go much longer than that. Um, and as a result, we, it appears you don't get much done, but we actually do, um, strangely enough. We're heading back to the farm with some diesel, um, which we will um, kind of unload into the composter and into the diesel storage over here. Um, and then we will go and fill up some diesel on the compost uh, master at the BGA in the town. And so with that, uh, as I reverse in and kind of try and unload, 
Um, thank you all for watching. Um, hope this was um, fun. And if you enjoyed today's episode or, um, and want to see more, please subscribe. And we're I'm kind of doing these almost on a daily basis at the moment. Um, one for one for each day and we will have some app reviews as well so keep an eye out for those and with that thank you and uh, i'm ashamed of my sloppy driving but um you know can't help it um so thank you all for watching please hit the like button if you like the video please subscribe to the channel if you uh like what you saw on the old uh on the channel so far and with that thank you all for watching have a good day and goodbye